Thank you for being here. Hey, everybody at home, how are you doing today? It's the students and the teachers from Resurrection Catholic School in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I've heard about this school. It's one of the smartest in our area, and today they're here to prove it. You guys know the drill. I'm going to let these students go head to head with their favorite teachers for a little bit of cash, but at the same time, what the students want is those bragging rights. So this game is about to kick off. Buckle up, sit down tight. Class is officially in session. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, that's how you play. A lot of points on the board. We have 29 minutes to crown a champion. Good luck, everybody. Pop quiz starts right now. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Maine? First one in, William. M-E. Good, that's gonna get you on the point first. What organelle in plant cells is a large storage sac within cytoplasm responsible for storing water, food, and waste materials? Tough question. Chris. Chlorophyll. Incorrect for the steel, teachers, if you want it. Otherwise, I'll move on. Nothing on that side. We were looking for the vacuole. What freeform blackish spinoff follows Zoe Johnson as she heads to college and navigates being a young adult? First one in, Mrs. Boyle. Grownish. That's going to get you there. Elias Howe was one of the inventors credited with significantly improving what machine that made it possible to produce clothing on a larger scale? Alex. Is that what you Absolutely right. Double the points here. We got some extra credit. In what classic 1997 Disney movie does a young man try to become a god by proving himself to be a hero on Earth? Alex. Hercules. For the 40 points in pop quiz, Alex gets him there, and I am pumped. As I said at the top of the show today, I am loving the group that's here. It's the students and teachers from Resurrection Catholic School in Camden County, but you guys know them as home of the Rams. Let's meet our teams. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm an eighth grader at RCS. I've been at RCS for about nine years. Go Rams. Hi, I'm William. I'm an eighth grader at RCS. My favorite sport is basketball and go Rams. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm an eighth grader at RCS. I play basketball, volleyball, and softball and go Rams. Hi, I'm Ms. Janansky. I'm the principal at Resurrection Catholic School and I'm incredibly competitive. So bring it on eighth grade. Hi, I'm Mrs. Boyle. I teach at Resurrection Catholic. I teach 7th and 8th grade language arts and social studies. Go Rams! Hi, I'm Miss Cleary. I teach language arts and social studies at Resurrection, and I'm going to miss our 8th graders next year. You guys, how nice does it feel to know teachers love you that much? Of course they Pretty love awesome. Us. Pretty <laughs> awesome. Just, is it awesome enough you're going to keep them out of detention during this next round? No. No. Not a chance. Let's play! Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. You think these students don't want to win this game? They're over here already talking about who's going first if they get to send a teacher to detention. <laughs> Strategy is everything here, but so is getting these questions right. We're going to start with the trailing team. Teachers, here is your category. Pass or play on sports. Give them a chance. 
Uh, we're gonna pass. Passing it oh, over to the, Alex plays in every sport I've ever heard of, but let's see if she gets this one. In basketball, what is the term for when a player jumps to catch a high pass in midair and in one motion dunks or lays it in before touching the ground? Alley-oop. Alley-oop is right and the pass comes back and haunts the teachers. Now, one of them has to go to detention, and I'd say talk about it, but you already figured it out. Miss Cleary. Miss Cleary, there she goes. Guys, she was the nice one, what happened? Miss <laughs> Cleary's like, I can't wait to close the door behind you. <laughs> All right, you guys, it, it stays with the students here. It's your category to pass your play on. Good luck, and here it is. Music. Play. Here's a question. Metro Boomin teamed up with The Weeknd and 21 Savage on what 2022 song that went viral on TikTok? We don't know. Oh no! <laughs> the answer, creeping, is what we were looking for there. Oh, Students, no. sorry, could not get it done. Teachers, how about you though? You get to fight right back. Is it Chris, William, or Alex? Oh. It's gonna be Chris. Chris, our team leader. <laughs> See you, bud. Enjoy detention. What a sign off right there from Chris. Hands it with elegance and grace. All right, bud, you say right there. Teachers, back to you on this category. Good luck. Earth science. Do you want to try it? Let's try it. We're gonna play. Here you go. What specific term describes the winding snake like curves or bends in a river? A lot of head shaking. I no idea. We were looking for <laughs> meander is what we had. Me meandering river. Up and down. That sounds nice right now. All right, William, Alex, unbelievable. You get to send somebody else to detention. Is it your principal or your teacher? Mr. Janansky. Janansky out of the game. Okay. Hey, enjoy yourself. I've never seen a student give a principal detention before. And that's why this show is so special. All right, students, back to you. You get this right, the game is over. Get it wrong, and it's one on one. Here's your, here's your category to pass or play on. It's geography. We're gonna play. Okay, here's your question. What is the most populated con continent on Earth? Asia. Asia is correct. Mrs. Boyle, you're heading to detention. Chris, get back here, man. We got to celebrate with a tasty cake, confetti, crimped snack break. You guys, congratulations. You guys just got hooked up by our sponsor here by Tasty Cake to celebrate the 40 points you just won. And it's the confetti crimpets that they're coming up. Listen, you can celebrate National Crimpet Day, which is right around the corner on July 7th. But right now, we celebrate the win of this round. Well done, students. So stay right there when we come back. I'm getting the teachers out of detention. This game continues. You guys, I would never leave you out of crimpet day. Come on. I mean, one of the hottest teams we've seen. Welcome back to the classroom on the show today. It's the students and teachers from Resurrection Catholic School in Camden County. And you guys, these students might be the greatest set of eighth graders we've ever seen. They got 80 points on the board. Teachers are like, we taught them everything they know. Of course they're doing well, but can the teachers start to make their comeback right here in our class? We find out now. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, 30 points if you get it on the first guess. Oh. And as principal of this school, you're known for your artistic Ability. Theoretically. Yeah, yeah. let's go. So <laughs> let's do it. this. All right, red or blue? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Blue. Uh, you take blue, stand All behind right. here, open this up. We'll see what you get there. 
It's all about the word, and that is what you're drawing. I'm gonna uncap your marker for you, take the card back, and I'm gonna put five seconds on the clock, which starts now. Okay, stop. Ooh. Ooh, teachers, you ready? Here we go. Really? Stirring. Is that stirring a pot? Stir a spoon? Is it the spoon? It's pointing to a spoon. Yeah, there's the arrow to that. Or a ladle. Need an answer? Spoon. Time was up. Oh no, the buzzer rang. Here we go. You got five more ah. seconds. Ready? <laughs> Time starts now. Five more seconds. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Okay. We just smiled and looked at each other for five seconds. Oh we God. didn't actually play the game. Here we go, guys. Get your answer in. Um, spoon. There it is. <laughs> I, when I heard the buzzer, I was like, no! All right, hey, great job. That's going to get you 20 points. Teacher's up to 30. Here we go, Alex. Get out here. All right, our students have been playing wonderfully. I'm going to give you this card. Open that up. Okay. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Un okay. Unlock your marker, and your artistry begins now. Unbelievable work in five seconds. You two ready? What is it? Clock. Is that your answer? Clock, yes. Yeah. No discussion needed. Students are on fire. Alex, well done. The rule stated no numbers or anything like that, and she didn't put one number on there. Well played. Hey, how about it? Students, 110, teachers, 30, extra credit right now. All right, one question, 60 seconds. Here it is. Good luck, everybody. In October of 2019, YouTube released its first original interactive project, a heist with what YouTuber? Good luck, guys. We'll be right back after the break. But before you go, unbelievable. You got to head out to our sponsor, Rita's, because the five-layer gelati is back. You heard that right. I'm telling you right now, what's better than an extra layer of creamy frozen custard in the middle of your favorite ice flavors? With the Rita's five-layer gelati, you can get as creative as you want and build your own super cool masterpiece. So get to Rita's quick, create your own five-layer gelati, and do it fast because they're gonna be gone. And don't forget, download the Rita's app to start earning those sweet rewards. Hey, be cool, go to Rita's, students are leading, teachers want it back. We come, we find out, can they do it? Classroom continues next. score right now too. Students are like, hey, camera guy, get this. We got 110 on the board. And teachers looking good with smiles on your faces, knowing you're a second half team. And I love that. Hey, it's Resurrection Catholic School in Camden County that's on the show today. And before the break, I said, hey, let's do some extra credit. And this was the question. In October of 2019, YouTube released its first ever original interactive project. It was awesome. It's called a heist with what YouTuber. And that's what the question was. So we start with our teachers. Janansky, right. you said. Logan Paul. Great guess, huge <laughs> YouTuber, that's a good one. Chris, what did you say? We said Mr. Beast. Another huge YouTuber, also incorrect. Markiplier is who we were looking for, Markiplier. And it was an unbelievable interactive event. All right, no points there. Everybody stays where there are. Students, Chris. I got a huge check that's just dying for your name to get put on. If you win this thing, what are you going to do with it? Uh, it's going to St. Baldrick's. Oh, you're putting a charity? Yeah. Are you going to uh, shave your head when you give them your check? Uh, that wasn't the plan. But your hair yeah. looks pretty good. They would uh, they yeah. <laughs> have the buzzers going through that thing in no time. <laughs> hey, listen, I think that's a great place to put it. Nicely done, guys. And teachers, how about you? Um, we're going to donate it to St. Joseph's House in Camden. Unbelievable. Both sides, great places to put their money. Now I don't know who uh, what should win. This is unbelievable. Hey, the bus driver's waiting. The game continues now, and we are taking a field trip. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. 
If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, that's how we play. Today we're taking a field trip to the Woodmere Art Museum and Jennifer Frederick from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is asking the questions. She's all over the map today. She's right here with us. Hey, Jen, how are you? I hate to keep saying it, but you know I love a field trip, and this is one of my new favorite places. We are here at the Woodmere Art Museum in Philadelphia, checking out all kinds of things like their outdoor wonder sculpture exhibit. Speaking of sculptures, what is the name of the colossal limestone statue located in Egypt that features a lion's body and a human head? First one in, teachers, Miss Janansky. The Sphinx. That's going to get you up to 40 points. Well done. Hey, Jen, that was a good one, but let's make it a little bit harder for question two. Good luck, guys. Question number two. The beginning is going to sound kind of weird. In SpongeBob SquarePants, what is the name of the character known for his love of arts, including sculpting, painting, and playing the clarinet, but whose artistic exhibitions are always either unrecognized or mocked? First one in, Miss Cleary. It is Squidward Tentacles. <laughs> Unbelievable, that's a full name. I had to go back. How about this? Do you know the two middle initials? I don't. Squidward JQ Tentacles. Mm -hmm. Now you got that one for the next one. That still gets you the points up to 50. Well played. I can't believe we got a SpongeBob SquarePants question in here. Hey, one more question, Jen. Okay, here's your last one here. The museum also offers classes for those who want to practice their skills, such as painting, which leads me to our last question. What term describes any painted work, work of art that is a depiction of a person in which the face and its expression are emphasized? For the round sweep, Miss Janikowski, excuse me, Miss Janansky. Uh, portrait. Portrait is right. How about you get you up to 60 points? Hey, well done, teachers. That is sweeping around when you needed it most. Students, you still hold the lead, though, and you're feeling pretty comfortable, but you guys know what's up next. All the other stuff has to go away, and I got 300 points waiting for us in the final exam. The topic of today's final exam is Three's Company. All right, you're gonna need all three of you to answer these questions properly. Each correct answer is gonna be worth 100 points. Squad, you're gonna talk about it during the commercial break, so no writing quite yet. We get to question number one first with this. Consisting of protons, neutrons, and electrons, what is the name of the basic particle from which all elements are made? Three's Company, what 2022 Amazon Prime series based on a novel by Jenny Han follows teenager Isabel Belly Conklin as she heads to Cousins Beach and finds herself in a love triangle. Finally, Three's Company, what historical document promises certain unalienable rights to American citizens, including the following three, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Three's Company, I love those questions. Everybody playing at home, make sure you get your answers in and do it under 60 seconds. That's how much these guys have. So when we come back, will the teachers make one of the greatest teacher comebacks of all time? Or will the students say, nah, -uh, not today and continue their walk to glory? Hey, we find out right after the break, so stay right there. But first, our sponsor, Tasty Cake, is geared up to celebrate their first ever, this is unbelievable, National Crimpet Day on July 7th. You heard that right. What a better way to enjoy this mouth-watering holiday than with the new confetti crimpets. They're inspired by birthday cake and filled with the best part, colorful confetti sprinkles. This delicious new crimpet flavor is only available though for just a short time, so don't miss them. Tasty Cake's iconic crimpet has been enjoyed by fans, I think for almost like 100 years now. So be sure to stock up and enjoy all the crimpet varieties on National Crimpet Day, July 7th. And we start now, we're celebrating right now. Get your crimpets here, students, a whole box coming your way. When we come back, we crown a champion, don't go anywhere.
Sharpie's going down, which means I just crowned a winner. You're about to find out. Welcome back to the classroom. Today, it's the students and teachers from Resurrection Catholic School, but this has been an unbelievable battle. And here we start with this question all about Three's Company, our final exam topic. Good luck, guys. Consisting of protons, neutrons, and electrons, what is the name of the basic particle from which all elements are made? Teachers, we start with you, Miss Cleary. Adams. Adams is right. Gets you up to 160, and that's what I call the lead. All right, students, can you fight back? Alex, you said. You said Adams. Adams takes the lead right back up to 210. And here we go. What 2022 Amazon Prime series based on a novel by Jenny Han follows teenager Isabel Belly Conklin as she heads to Cousins Beach and finds herself in a love triangle. Here we go, Mrs. Boyle, what'd you say? We had no idea. The old <laughs> question mark doesn't get you any points. All right, students, William, you get this right, the game is over. What did you say? We also had no clue. Ah, okay. <laughs> Maybe the show is called Question Mark. The summer I turned pretty. Unfortunately, both of you guys are wrong there. All right, it comes down to this. Teachers, get it right or the game is over. What historical document promises certain unalienable rights to American citizens, including the following three, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? You said. The Declaration of Independence. Janansky holds on <laughs> tight for the teachers. Students, what did you say? Either way, you either win or lose. Let's hear it. We said the Declaration of Independence. Students are walking away champions. Unbelievable. What an episode of the classroom. You guys get out here and celebrate. Come on. Teachers, don't worry. You're not going home empty handed. Our sponsor, Rita's, has them covered. Guys, thank you for being here. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. Get your school here now. What are you waiting for? We'll see you next time right here on the classroom. What a win, students! We're gonna be talking about that for years.